Hi guys! Welcome to my YouTube channel. So before we get started make sure to hit the like button, also subscribe to my channel. In this video, we will talk about low and normal blood oxygen levels. So make sure to watch the full video. Blood oxygen level is the amount of oxygen circulating in the blood. Doctors consider oxygen levels to be low when they are below 60 millimeters of mercury, MAG. Shortness of breath, dizziness, and other symptoms may occur. Blood oxygen level usually range from 75 to 100 mHg. If they fall below 60 mm, a trusted source, there may not be enough oxygen reaching the body's vital organs. This can lead to a range of symptoms. The body closely monitors blood oxygen levels to keep them within a specific range so that there is enough oxygen for the needs of every cell. A person's blood oxygen level indicates how well the body distributes oxygen from the lungs to the cells, and it can be important for people's health. Normal and Low Blood Oxygen Levels A healthy blood oxygen level varies between 75 and 100 millimeters of mercury, MAG. When arterial blood gas, ABG, test results reveal an oxygen level below 60 millimeters, a trusted source, the medical community considers it low. In some cases, People with these results may require oxygen supplementation. A blood oxygen level that is too low, compared with the average level of a healthy person, can be a sign of a condition known as hypoxemia. This develops when the body has difficulty delivering oxygen to all of its cells, tissues, and organs. Oxygen saturation Oxygen saturation refers to the percentage of oxygen in a person's blood. Medical professionals often use a device called a pulse oximeter for either a quick test or continuous monitoring. The device can attach to the person's fingertip. A healthy oxygen saturation level ranges between 95% and 100% trusted source. If a person's levels drop below this range, they may experience symptoms associated with a lack of oxygen, such as trouble breathing and confusion. How is blood oxygen level measured? An ABG test is a common way trusted source to monitor blood oxygen levels. This test involves taking a blood sample from an artery, usually in the wrist. This procedure is very accurate, but it can be a little painful. Doctors carry out ABG tests in a hospital. However, people can test themselves at home using a small device known as a pulse oximeter. A person cannot perform an ABG test at home. A pulse oximeter is a small clip that often attaches to a finger, although it will also work on an ear or a toe. It measures blood oxygen indirectly by light absorption through a person's pulse. Although the pulse oximeter test is easier, quicker, and less painful than the ABG test, it is not as accurate. Several factors can interfere with the results, including trusted source, dirty fingers, bright lights, darker skin tones, nail polish, poor circulation to the extremities, Causes of low blood oxygen The medical term for low blood oxygen is hypoxemia. It may happen due to insufficient oxygen in the air, inability of the lungs to inhale and send oxygen to all cells and tissues, inability of the bloodstream to circulate to the lungs, collect oxygen, and transport it around the body. When to contact a doctor People should contact a doctor if they experience severe and sudden shortness of breath, Experience shortness of breath when at rest. Have severe shortness of breath that worsens during exercise or physical activity. Treatment. The treatment options for low blood oxygen levels include supplemental oxygen. Doctors can administer oxygen therapy in an office, or they can prescribe or recommend the use of home oxygen therapy, HOT. A range of devices is available for delivering and monitoring HOT, but some require a prescription. People can make lifestyle adjustments to reduce the symptoms of low oxygen levels, as well as improve their general health and quality of life. Outlook Many conditions can cause low blood oxygen levels. Treating the underlying condition responsible will generally improve blood oxygen levels. People living with chronic lung diseases, such as COPD, and those who catch COVID-19 may need regular blood oxygen monitoring. People with low blood oxygen can also make lifestyle changes, such as adjusting their dietary and exercise habits. In conjunction with oxygen therapy, 
These changes could help a person raise their oxygen saturation levels. Summary A person's blood oxygen level refers to the amount of oxygen circulating in their blood. A person can measure blood oxygen levels using a pulse oximeter. On a pulse oximeter, doctors consider levels under 95% to be low. Several conditions can cause low blood oxygen levels, including asthma, anemia, and COVID-19. The treatment will often involve addressing the underlying cause. But doctors may sometimes also recommend oxygen therapy or lifestyle modifications. What to know about oxygen levels and therapy for COPD? Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, is a progressive lung disease that affects breathing. Severe COPD can lead to low blood oxygen levels, which can impair oxygen supply to the body's vital organs. People who experience low blood oxygen levels due to severe COPD may require oxygen therapy to boost their blood oxygen levels and reduce the risk of organ damage. This can help to reduce fatigue and other symptoms of low blood oxygen. This video describes what COPD is and how it affects blood oxygen levels. We also provide information on oxygen treatment for severe COPD. What is COPD? COPD is an umbrella term for two lung diseases, emphysema and chronic bronchitis. Emphysema involves damage to the air sacs or alveoli within the lungs, while chronic bronchitis involves inflammation of the airways connected to the lungs, COP hypoxemia and hypoxia. Body organs, tissues, and cells require oxygen to function properly. In COPD, damage to the lungs and airways reduces the amount of oxygen the lungs are able to take in. This, in turn, reduces the amount of oxygen that passes from the lungs into the bloodstream. Copic hypoxemia is the medical term for low oxygen levels in the blood. COPD hypoxemia can lead to the related condition, TOPD hypoxia. This is where the body's organs and tissues do not receive enough oxygen to function effectively. Oxygen treatment for COPD. People who experience hypoxemia may require oxygen therapy trusted source to increase their blood oxygen levels. This therapy involves using an oxygen tank to deliver additional oxygen through a face mask or a tube in the nose or mouth. Outlook for COPD COP typically starts with mild symptoms that worsen over time. There is currently no cure for COPD, and people living with the condition require lifelong treatment. Timely and effective COP treatment can help people manage their symptoms and maintain a good quality of life. The type of treatment a person receives will depend on their COPD severity and overall health. Most people with COPD need to make certain lifestyle changes, such as quitting smoking or avoiding airborne irritants. Oxygen therapy is usually only necessary in severe cases of COPD. Summary Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease COPD, is a progressive lung disease that affects breathing. Some people with COPD may experience hypoxemia and hypoxia. Hypoxemia is when blood oxygen levels are lower than average. Hypoxia is when the organs are unable to function effectively due to insufficient oxygen supply. People with COPD-related hypoxemia or hypoxia may require oxygen therapy to increase oxygen levels in their blood and improve oxygen supply to their organs. Oxygen treatment involves receiving additional oxygen through tubes or a face mask connected to an oxygen cylinder. Some people will require constant oxygen treatment, while others may only require oxygen at certain times. A doctor will perform tests to determine the type and amount of oxygen treatment a person needs. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to our channel before you go. Thank you for watching.